Oh my god. Oh fuck my life, that guy does not play. Fuck. What's up guys, a Duck Opinion here. We're playing some State of Decay, the new DLC breakdown. And I thought I'd give you a longer video of a look at how this game runs and kind of talk about what I think about the DLC before the review is coming. And, um, you know, I'm still playing it. I haven't beat it yet, although I'm not even sure if there is kind of an in mode. It's kind of like an infinite zombie mode. This DLC pretty much, it takes out the story, and it's pretty much the same game without the story and about the ending and about being annoyed all the time and be like, you know, like... You're really you're timed on the main story like you have to do stuff in a certain amount of time people can die You can lose your people. It seems to be a lot a lot less stressful and more about you just surviving alone and not really worrying about the story so Here we are in one of my favorite places, but I gotta say though It looks good from outside, but for it being a supermarket There isn't shit in here to steal <laughs> It's kind of pretty dry, but um my outpost is right outside here You start off with a random character You'll eventually be able to pick heroes, but when you first start off, they're just going to throw you in the world with someone random, and you have to go establish an outpost and get to know people, and then you eventually unlock heroes and such like that, which I'll be showing you guys later on as we progress through the game. So if you already beat Stay of Decay, the question you're asking yourself is, is Breakdown the DLC worth my money to get back into the game? Now, for me personally, I got the game for PC and the DLC for free through the people that made it. They gave it to me to review, and I've yet seen it on PC. I've been playing on an Xbox, and so for me, it seems a lot better. It seems like fresher and newer because I'm on a PC. It looks a lot better graphic-wise, and it's a lot smoother. You can probably tell. We'll have a comparison video up soon, but as for me, it kind of it feels kind of new again. So I'm actually kind of in fun with it, but it does also have that repetitiveness, that old feeling to it because it is the same map. So basically for me, this DLC is, it's the same exact thing as State of Decay, but maybe a couple new weapons and characters added and you can make it harder and there's no story. So I basically do think it's the same thing. And if you have State of Decay and on a budget, I really don't recommend the DLC. It doesn't change the area. It doesn't change too much with a story. It doesn't have a story at all. It's pretty much just a harder survival mode. But that's pretty much what State of Decay is already, so honestly, it's not the best DLC ever, but I'm still covering it. I got it for free. Can't complain, but for you guys that might have to pay for it, might not be worth it. So let's get in a car and let's get the hell out of here. As I say, you know, this market's huge and it's right by where my safe house is, but... You can't look at the shelves, you can't do shit, like it's kind of a shitty market. It reminds me of the ones that are on like DayZ and such, but as you see there's a lot of stuff still going on in the Breakdown DLC. Like I said, it's pretty much just like story mode. You're going to get random events like what I'm about to do right here, where these people need help. They're having a zombie infestation, so I'm going to run in here and um, help these people out. They want us to do what? Maybe clear out an area? So let's go take these guys over here and clear out an area. Or actually, they want me to hold off this area. So, yeah, let's hold this area off. So we can board it up and uh, we can hold it off. And it's not going to be too hard, but th that's the thing, though. They have random events, just like State of K1. You might run into people that are just getting attacked. You can let them die and just laugh at them. Or you can help them and they might recruit. They might join you. Or they might just say thank you and go back to their place. So it's really kind of cool though, it's really kind of cool that you can run into other people that are just trying to survive just like you. And they might not even, they have their own posse, they might not even want to join you, but I think it'd be really cool if they added stuff like, like enemies that aren't zombies, like if they added a group of people that like want to take over your base, I mean I got some like walking dead shit going on, and so you try to like, you know, you have to kill them because they want to take over your base, and I think that would be, that would be really cool, but Mainly, as the next DLC is being made right now for State of Decay, what I want to see is just plain and simple a new map. Now, whether if you throw out, whether it's more story, whether it's just survival, whether it's new characters, it, it, it it's, it's always going to feel old if it's in the same place. It's kind of like the Saint, the Saints, the Saint Row Four and Three mentality, to where those are good games and they're very fun, but they use the same exact map. So they almost feel like the same exact game, 
but with just, you know, a couple new features, and that's pretty much what this DLC is. This is exactly the same as State of Decay, but without the story. And it's kind of, it kind of makes it a shitty DLC. To be honest, I wouldn't have bought this, because like I said, it's pretty much just State of Decay without a story. But, I'm still covering, I'm still having fun of it, and I want to give you guys the true opinion about it, and just a little bit of longer footage, like this is. So we have a boss zombie coming. That's usually how it is when you're protecting areas. You'll get a little horde of a few, and then you'll get the big boss guy coming. Which, um, which can be a pain in the ass. This, this guy does not play, but he kind of gets stuck in the door, and he's kind of a noob. But I do notice the graphics, at least to me, look better. Like I said, we're going to have a side-by-side -side comparison coming soon, so we'll be able to actually see the difference between Xbox and PC. But I just wanted to wait until the update comes out for State of Decay, so the... the the lagginess, like the frame rate, isn't as bad on Xbox because then it'll just look terrible in the comparison. I want to at least give it a shot, so I'm going to wait till the update comes out. So, we have a couple more zombies to kill, and um, we have a brute zombie at the door who's a pain in the freaking ass. Like, with that zombie, you can shoot him a billion times, but you kind of have to do a finisher on him. But we have three people here. I'm sure we can handle him. Four people, actually. So, let's go outside and see if I can take him down. Just lighting them up. I've just been using this gun the whole time. I keep finding ammo for it, so it's it's really convenient. No, if anything, I would like a DLC where it makes it where you have like infinite bullets in your gun, and you have like food and this and that, and it has like maybe like hordes, like on Black Ops 2. You have to go through rounds and such. That would switch it up and be different. Have like little mini games instead of just. This is more just, in my opinion, this is like a free roam mode for State of Decay. That's why I would call this DLC. It's not like a story mode, but it plays exactly like the story mode without the story. So it's pretty much a free roam mode. So if you guys are wondering how the DLC is, that is my honest opinion on the DLC. It is pretty much just a free roam. And it's honestly, it's not worth the money, but if you're a huge State of Decay fan, pick it up, check it out. You'll enjoy it, especially if you hate the story and hate being rushed. This is definitely an infinite story. It can continue forever and continue to build up and to see where it goes, which we will in our Let's Play that we're doing. This is kind of part of Let's Play. It's the same story, but I'm more showing you off footage than this being part of a Let's Play. So check out my channel for that Let's Play. More tips and tricks for State of Decay. All the updates and DLC information first on A Duck Opinion. Subscribe, keep it locked to it, share it on Google+, like the video, and that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed my opinion and this extended clip of Breakdown DLC for State of Decay on PC. Talk to you guys later. Like the video, share it, dusk and fly. Peace.